a look at five awesome Mac App Store apps in this week's Friday Five. So the first item on the docket is Bumper, a $3.99 Mac App Store app that allows you to choose which browser that you open links in. So for instance, if I click this link right here, you're going to see a little pop-up and that allows me to choose which browser I want to use. So I can choose between Chrome or Safari in this instance. And if you go to the app's preferences, you can also assign other browsers. You can also make it so that the pop-up window only appears when you hold the shift key when clicking a link. And Bumper also works with email applications. One of my favorite and arguably most valuable applications on the Mac App Store is none other than Affinity Designer. This $50 app can, for some people, depending on their needs, replace Adobe Illustrator in your workflow. So not only is that super valuable from, from a monetary standpoint, but it also is completely optimized for the Mac. So you get things like full screen support, true, true full screen support, and you can export to a wide variety of formats, including Photoshop, PSD, including SVG and others. Hands down, this is one of the best vector design tools on the Mac App Store, and I highly recommend it. I'm actually going to go ahead and export this clock right now in a Photoshop format. Now I'm gonna use Motion, which is a $50 app. It's a motion graphics app from Apple, very much similar to Final Cut Pro as far as its look and feel, but obviously a lot different. So you can import a Photoshop file with all of its layers intact, so I'm gonna do that right down. This is the clock that we just made in Affinity Designer. So I can go in, hone in on a specific layer, zoom in, and then move the anchor point for the minute hand to the desired location so that I can animate the minute hand and create an animation to export back into Final Cut Pro. So you can see I'm moving the anchor point here, and then I'm just gonna move the playhead to the beginning, and I'm gonna to go to the inspector properties and set a keyframe for rotation. Now I'm going to move the playhead a little bit forward and just rotate like that. And there we go. So that's all there is to it. Now I can play it and I have an animation just like that. So now I can create a Final Cut Pro generator that I can use across a variety of projects or for quick demonstration purposes, I can just export and share as a movie file. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to share, export movie, and it's set ProRes. So we'll go ahead and export. And now you can view the movie that I just created in Affinity Designer and in Motion in just a few minutes. Ulysses is an app that we've covered before on Friday Five, but it was for the iOS version. The Mac App Store version is just as good. In fact, it's the one that started it all. Ulysses is one of the best plain text editing apps on the Mac. It supports Markdown. You can preview your Markdown just like this. So if I click here, click preview, you can see the actual HTML file. So you can copy and paste that into your CMS of choice, but you can also directly publish to platforms like WordPress, for instance. So if I go down to publishing, I can add an account and you can choose between Medium and WordPress. You can also add specific writing goals. You can add keywords, you can add attachments, notes. So if I want to add a, a specific image to reference in my writing, I can do that directly in the interface. And of course, this all syncs over iCloud. I can even create new groups to hold specific sheets and combine those sheets to create one cohesive document, a super powerful application. Now, our final app is PasteBot, a $9.99 copy and paste app for the Mac. This is a really cool app. It has tons of features, but I'm going to just point out one particular feature that I like, and that is sequential paste. This allows you to copy and paste a sequence of items one by one like this. And then I can actually paste those items sequentially. So instead of having to keep going back and forth between two documents, copying and pasting, copying and pasting, I can do it all in one fell swoop. Just copy all the items from the first document and then go in and sequentially paste all those items into the second document. Let me show you how it works. So we're going to sequentially paste in all five of these items here. Let's start with the first one, Hackintosh, Described, Hardware, Machines, Pro just like that. So ladies and gents, which one is your favorite from this week's Friday Five? Sound off down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.